When Sherry Anderson opens up her tab in her house in Botwood, this is what often comes out. My husband goes outside and runs the hose in, into the street and runs it until for hours. And some, sometimes it's been days until it is clear. And that's what council has told us to do. We have three filters, three water filters on our lines. And we also have a water softener. And that still, that still doesn't help. It's not just her. Other residents have shared their frustrations to council for years, but the problem still continues. We've had showers where we've gotten out and there's been sand in our hair. It's awful. It's an awful way to live. But what Mayor James Seaver says that the main issue with the town's water supply is its aging infrastructure. Many of the water pipes in town are several decades old. And when the lines are flushed for cleaning or a pipe breaks, it causes the water to become discolored. Replacing all the pipes isn't an option. This year, unfortunately, our contract prices came in roughly 30% over budget. Uh, we've had to go back to our federal and provincial partners to get uh, uh, those projects reviewed because we couldn't afford the over budget amounts. And, uh, and now, consequently, these projects may be delayed or maybe postponed to next year. But over the next two years, like I said, we've got $4 million in, in projects uh, uh, plan to replace some critical parts of our infrastructure. He expects many years before the issue is dealt with permanently. It's uh, unfortunately something we've got to live with until we get major modifications or upgrades done to our pipes. And again, it is no different in this town than most towns in this province. For people like Sherry Anderson, she says she's tired of being told to be patient. Tons of people put pictures on Facebook and say, you know, it's time that something is, is done, but nothing is being done. I'm only one person. Together, maybe we can do something. The water may not look good, but is it safe? The mayor says yes. It's tested every day to make sure it's safe. Arlette Lazarenko, CBC News, St. John's.